Welcome to Behind the Bar by Grey Goose, where we show you how to elevate your cocktail game at home. Hey, I'm Selena. And I'm Leon. And today we're gonna show you how to make one of the most popular vodka cocktail garnishes, the lemon twist. The earliest record that we have of a lemon twist garnish is in 1862, but we think it probably goes much further back than that. What you're gonna need, not that much. Whatever citrus that you want to peel, we're gonna do lemons today because that's the most popular one, but you can do limes, you can do oranges, you can do grapefruits. You need a cutting board and some cutting utensils. I'm gonna walk you through how to use a channel knife. I know using knives um, to cut garnishes can be a little bit scary, but I'll walk you through how to use it. Typically, you just wanna grab your lemon as if it was hanging from the tree, like so. You wanna grab your channel knife. If you see, you're gonna have two blades on each side. They're typically gonna cut about a fourth inch deep and wide, so it's just gonna remove the rind and not really get any of the actual meat from the citrus. You're gonna put the blade at the top, apply your thumb so you get a little bit of pressure, and then you're just literally gonna go around. It's gonna create a nice little Lemon twist. You're so good at this. You can use this on vegetables if you wanna, you know, vibe out your salad and make that look pretty. And it's really simple. Once you get your twist, it can be long, it can be short. There's no right or wrong way to do this because this is your cocktail. Simply wanna give it a nice little twist and drop it in the glass like so. That's really impressive. That's a lemon twist. It's gonna be the one fourth of an inch like Leon said, but sometimes people also want lemon peels, which are gonna be a little wider, a little flatter, and they're kind of made to express the oils over the top of a drink. So I'll show you guys here that you can just sort of squeeze it a little and gently get some of the oils out and drop it in there for a nice little citrus garnish. If you aren't comfortable using a peeler, which is what would make that shape, you can also do a little hack with a regular knife if that's more comfortable for you. And so what you can do is just cut really thin wedges of lemon and then use your fingers to go in and pull out the meat and some of the pith so you get a kind of nice, maybe easier to make at home version of a lemon peel. Another alternative is you can just cut thin slices down uh, the lengthwise of a lemon and make a little lemon wheel, which I think look really cute hanging off the rim of a glass like that. And I, th I think they're always like kind of a crowd pleaser. People are always like sort of in awe that you have this beautiful garnish when you do lemon wheels. 100%. Yeah. So please, in the comments, if you guys have any hacks that you've done at home to make any garnishes like this or anything different, please drop that in the comments. And click below to watch more recipes like this.